Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and here in YouTube you know me as Epic Fantasy, and this is my latest tutorial. This is part two of my miniature rolling paper theater project. In part one I showed you how to make the theater, and in this part I show you how to make the scroll. Hey, and I make a story, write a story, put it on my scroll, and you can watch it right here in this video. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and trebuchets, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. This is a tale from a medieval village. Tui was sitting on the edge of his bed as night fell, wondering, as he did every night, when he would have a grand adventure. Just then a firefly came in through the window and buzzed around his room. He watched as it flew in circles, then settled right on top of a silver penny he had on his little wooden table. He carefully picked up the silver penny with the firefly still on it and looked at it closely. Then it flew off and out the window. Tui dashed for the window, climbed out, and followed the firefly. The two of them, Tui and the Firefly, went first down the dirt main street and through the marketplace. At the crossroads, with the big road to Big Adventure, they turned left towards Old Mr. Wishingwell's farm. Tui thought about Old Mr. Wishingwell. He was a reclusive old man that kept to himself. He had scars on his elbows, and his two front teeth were missing. And every morning he could be seen going from his house to the apple orchard cackling, where he would gorge himself on apples, then he would return to his home. They called him old Mr. Wishingwell because nobody knew his real name, and he had an old well on his property that was rumored to be a wishing well. As the firefly led Tui around Herbert's pond, he was sure they were headed straight toward the old man's farm. Sure enough, the firefly led him on down to the property and directly to the well. The firefly settled on the stone edge of the well as if waiting for something, and as Tui watched it, Waiting for it to do something, it hopped off the edge and flew down into the well. Tui leaned over the edge and watched as the bright little light disappeared. He just stood there in the dark and wondered until he realized he was still grasping the silver penny in his hand. Wow, maybe this was the start of the adventure he was waiting for. He clutched the penny harder held it against his chest, and made a wish. Then he flipped the penny into the well. And nothing happened. Again he peered over the edge of the well, trying to penetrate the darkness, and then he fell right in. On his way down, he scraped his elbows on the side of the well, and when he hit the bottom, face first, it popped his two front teeth right out of his mouth. A few minutes later, he climbed out of the well with scraped elbows and two front teeth missing. He cackled, and seeing as it was almost morning, he started his way toward the apple orchard and those delicious apples. From this day forward, the little medieval village would refer to him as young Mr. Wishingwell. The thing that this little medieval village and most people of this world don't realize is that wishing wells are real, but it isn't you that gets a wish, it's the well that gets a wish. Okay, that was fun. Um, I hope you liked my story. And um, if you did, give, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Tell me about it. And I hope that encourages you to write your own stories. So let's take a look now. In the template that I give you for a free download, I have this sheet here that's the story sheet. And what you can do is write in a sentence or two each frame of your story. Break it down into nice little bits and pieces so um, it's easy to draw out. And I give you this sheet too, which is the story boards. So for every every um, snippet of story, you have a sentence or two, and then you draw out a quick sketch on the storyboard to try to visually display that scene. And this is pretty much the way they do it in Hollywood, movies and anything. You write out your story, break it up into pieces, draw it up in short scenes like this.
And see, now I'll, go, I'll move on to scene two. Write a little bit about that story, that scene, and then I'll draw that out in story box, in storyboard two. And like I said, this is all in the template. You don't even have to worry about these. I give you these. And there we go. You already know the story, and now so now this is in um, the, the bedroom. And this is a first sketch, so I wasn't sure how it was going to look. And that's a good way to, you know, to improve how you're doing it. You just start out with a little bit of words, and then you add a little bit of a sketch, and you kind of get a sense for what the story is going to look like. And do that for all the scenes. And you can expand or contract your story scroll by as much as you want. But here you go. Here's mine is done. It has ten little scenes on it. So I've got a little sentence or two for each scene. Then a quick sketch for each scene. And that's it. So now we need to do it onto our actual story scroll. And you could do this a few different ways. You could just draw it right out on your scroll. In part one of this tutorial, I show you how to make the scroll. You can, but I wanted to um, take my time with this drawings. And if it, the drawing wasn't good enough, I didn't know what I would do with the scroll. So I drew out four inch by five inch uh, squares, well, uh, rectangles, and did some drawings on those. Like here's the first scene here is the, um, the actual medieval village. And I added some color, so you can use watercolors, pencils, crayons, markers, anything you want, glitter. Have some fun with it, right? There's a whole lot of things you can do with this uh, uh, rolling paper theater. And it's all about the story. You want to tell a story. So what I ended up doing is cutting that square out, that rectangle, and then gluing it to my uh, story scroll. But you, what you could do is you just make up a bunch of squares that are 4 by 5 and cut them out when they're done and then tape them together to make your longer story scroll. See, but here you go. I'll show you. I used a glue stick on this. So you've got your little paper, your little cardboard or foam board theater, you've got your story, you've got it written out in text, you've got it drawn out in quick sketches, now we're doing the actual drawings that are going to go in the theater on the scroll, and we've got a just about completed project. So let me show you a little bit more of that. And you know, um, I could really use your help here on um, YouTube. Uh, you can give me a thumbs up, and leave a comment, share this video with others if you like it, post it to social media, uh, consider donating to my channel. Uh, you can donate through PayPal or through Patreon, or um, you could buy one of my books. I very much appreciate your, your support. So take that scroll once it's all done, all the scenes are in, in my case 10, tape it onto the right hand um, roller and roll it up. And then once it's all rolled up, tape it onto the left-hand roller, and then you can go ahead and spin it and tell your story. Thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button. I always have lots of fun and interesting and very creative projects. I do two new ones every week. As an example, here's a couple more videos you might want to watch.